Dome of the Rock, Jerusalem, Bay del Mactus, Masjid al Aqsa, Foundation Stone, Palestine. <laughs> once spoke those words and those words are plastered now on the dome of the rock and Isa alayhi salam will one day return to this earth and go to that very same spot where he first spoke those words and then Yahya alayhi salam is martyred and Isa alayhi salam receives the news that he has been upgraded from a Nabi to a Rasul from a prophet to a messenger as well at the age of 30 years old while sitting in Masjid Al-Aqsa because he now inherits the next phase of his da'wah. It's there. The significance of Masjid Al-Aqsa does not stop at the Golden Dome. This is Qubba Zahra, Dome of the Rock, built in 691 CE where the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu had ascended to the heavens on his night journey. The significance of this rock is not only to the Muslims but also to Jews and Christians as they believe it is the rock where the Prophet Ibrahim salam, had prepared for the sacrifice. However, what we're not usually told is that Masjid al-Aqsa is actually the whole al-Aqsa compound. South of the Dome of the Rock, we find the main congregation area within the al-Aqsa compound, which is known as Masjid al-Qibli. When it was first located by Umar anhu, by what the Prophet salam, had told him, the Christians had used the location as a rubbish dump. This is where Yaqub salam, had first built the mosque and Sulaiman had expanded it with the help of the jinn to create the Temple of Solomon. Going underground Masjid al-Qibli, we find Al-Aqsa al-Qadim. Here we find some of the original foundations carved into rock which is believed to be by the help of jinn. This area also is believed to contain the mihrab of Zakaria and Maryam The significance for Jews is that the Temple of Solomon was once built within the Al-Aqsa compound and the desires to restore and commence building of the Temple Mount is no longer hidden. Reports have surfaced throughout the years that exposes the drilling near the foundation of the masjid and causing the structure to weaken, where the warning has come that the structure can collapse on any time on its own. After witnessing the slithery nature of media and controlling the narrative, it would not be a surprise if the attempts to demolish Al-Aqsa commences and the world is just fooled 
by being shown a photo of the Golden Dome. Ever wondered what is inside the Dome of the Rock? Part two. Welcome to the Dome of the Rock, located in the old city of Jerusalem. It's one of the most iconic symbols for Palestinians in the homeland and in the diaspora. It's by far the most prominent building in the Jerusalem skyline, most notable for its iconic golden dome. But is the dome really made of pure gold? This site, along with the Al-Aqsa Mosque, make up the Al-Aqsa compound, which is seen as the third holiest site in the Islamic faith after the holy cities of Mecca and Medina. The rock which is housed by the dome is believed to be the spot where the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ascended to the heavens during his night journey. Construction of this site was commissioned in the late 7th century under the Caliph Abdul Malik bin Marwan, who was part of the early Umayyad dynasty which administered this region as Jund Filastin. Originally, the exterior of the Dome of the Rock was covered by gold-laden copper and leaded sheets. But in 1016, a violent earthquake hit Jerusalem, causing some parts of the dome to collapse on the rock. The dome would be restored in 1022, this time with black lead giving the building a new profile that would endure for the next couple of centuries. This was until the 1960s when the Jordanian government funded a renovation project to replace the leaded dome with aluminum plates that were colored gold, turning the dome into its original aesthetic. But we wouldn't see the return of actual gold on the dome until 1993 when the King Hussein of Jordan funded the project with 80 kilograms of gold to be plated onto the dome, with the 24 carats of gold being worth about $8 million, giving us the modern look of the dome today. This might be the most controversial religious site in the world, the Dome of the Rock, the third most sacred place in Islam, next to the most sacred spot in Judaism. But much before Islam stood the site of the first and second temples of Jerusalem, the house of God according to the ancient Israelites. But then it was destroyed by the Romans in around 70 CE. And fast forward a couple of years, and it's said to be the spot where Prophet Muhammad was taken to heaven to an encounter with God. And now stands the Al-Haram Al-Sharif, the noble sanctuary, a religious center for the Muslim world in the very heart of Jerusalem.